Uh, so we are going to show you some outlining tricks today. So we've got several paintings that have a few little outlines. We've got our queenie and you can kind of see a little I see you. Any of those that have those little outlines I know can be just a little bit intimidating, but I promise it's not as hard as it seems, okay? What you want to do first, make sure your canvas is dry. Easy as that. Just make sure it's completely dry. That way, when you outline, you can actually lean your hand on the canvas. You can make it feel more like you're writing. It's going to give you a lot more stability, okay? If you can, lay it out on a flat surface, that can help as well, okay? But once again, lean your hand on the canvas. What I like to do is hold my brush nice and close to those bristles. If you hold your brush way back here, you have no control, okay? So you want to hold nice and close, just like you're writing, and we're going to get a nice amount of paint. Now, even though it's a little outline, you still need lots of paint. It's going to give you a much smoother line. Remember, it's less pressure, not less paint, okay? So you don't need to press hard unless you do want a thicker outline, but just use less pressure, more paint, okay? So I've got a nice amount of paint here. Now, if you need a little assistance, kind of smoothing out that line, another thing you can do is take a little drip of paint water and just mix that in with a little bit of your black or whatever your outline color is, and that can kind of smooth things down for you. Now, for my queenie up here, I have uh, not filled in her eyebrows and eyelashes and things yet. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, I'm not going to do the lips right now. We're going to have a separate tutorial for lips. I'm going to show you a few different kinds of lips uh, on her and a different video, so you can stay tuned for that. But first, I'm going to start with those eyebrows. Now remember, my canvas is dry. I'm going to actually lean my hand right here on the canvas. Now you want to think long brush strokes, okay? So as I'm going around my little eyebrow here, I've got long brush strokes. I'm going to go all the way up right into that hairline, just like that. Same thing here on this side. Nice amount of paint. It starts to look a little patchy, so I'm grabbing just a little more paint. As soon as your line starts to look a little sketchy or patchy, grab more paint. It's really gonna help, okay? So once again, long brush strokes. You can see, I kind of outline first, and then I can just fill it in. Now, again, lean your hand on the canvas. It's the best way to get a little bit of extra stability. It's gonna make this so much easier for you. Now, once again, I'm gonna do kind of a similar idea for our little eyelashes down here. So each of these, I'm gonna go right across, kind of outline, and then I'm just filling in. Anything that's a little thicker like this, remember you have a little bit more freedom uh, to mess up if you have a few little mistakes, it's all fine. But just remember, light pressure, more paint, and long brush strokes. Okay, once again, this side, I'm gonna go right across. Now she's got some eyelashes. Gotta have those eyelashes. Now with her, we've got a few little lines up here. So again, I'm using light pressure, but I'm just kind of bringing out the edge of her little eyelid there. Light pressure, easy as that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a different kind of outline for the rest of her. But again, on the face for these more precise lines, lean your hand on the canvas. Now for the nose here, same idea. Just got a few little quick Lines like so, outside of her nostril, easy as that. Same thing, still leaning my hand on the canvas, I'm gonna outline her ears, just like that. And again, I don't have my background painted in here, but you guys can kind of see what she looks like over there. So we're gonna do long brush strokes as we're doing that jawline. You can see all the way down. Now, if you need to, lift up your brush, Go back in. As soon as it starts looking sketchy, we can go back in. Just like that. Okay. Now, on the sides here, we also have her neck. I'm going to make sure we've got that. Okay. So that's as easy as it gets. Okay. Remember to lean your hand on the canvas and use lots of paint, light pressure. Okay. That's all you need. But hold your brush close. It's gonna make it a lot easier. Make sure your canvas is dry, okay? Now we also have some messy outlines for her. You can kind of see we have some fatter brush strokes. So for these, they really are just single brush strokes. I'm gonna do her turtleneck first. You can kind of see, I'm gonna be just a little bit more free with that. 
lots of paint. You can use more pressure here. Don't be too concerned with a little messy edge here and there. Again, more paint than we used before, even though we still used a nice amount of paint before. Easy peasy. Same up here for her crown. Each of these is gonna be one brush stroke. Okay, you can see these are a lot faster, just like that. And this, I'm not necessarily needing to lean my hand right down on the canvas, because we want a more messy look. If you need to, lean your hand onto the canvas, just like we did before. It will give you a little more stability, but that is it, okay? <laughs> so there's your messy outlines. These are your more detailed outlines, okay? Don't worry about having too much control on these guys, uh, but just remember, you can take your time if you're doing this at home. Take it easy, <laughs> you know? Uh, use all those tips and tricks. It's gonna make this so much more fun for you. Just make sure, uh, yeah, <laughs> make sure to stay steady with those lines. And we are doing uh, to-go kits at our sister studio, Pottery By You. So you guys can go online to potterybyyou.com and we can get you those to-go kits. You can, you're gonna get everything you need to paint and enjoy. We have lots of fun diva paintings. And again, I'm gonna do a lip tutorial in another video so you can stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining us.